Welcome to Ballarat Wildlife Park. This place looks incredible. I can't wait to get in. They've got crocodiles here, koalas, and so much more. So let's head inside and check out the park. All right, so we've just walked into the park. On the way in, we grabbed ourselves a bag of kangaroo food. Now the kangaroos are just literally around the park. You can hand feed them, how cool is that? Also, make sure you check out the signs because you can do a few extra things like getting photos with the animals. It costs us a little bit extra, but definitely worth it. We're gonna go get a photo with a koala very soon, but let's go start checking out the animals and we might even get to feed the kangaroos. It's like, it's like Twilight. How awesome is this? They're literally eating out of their hands. They're so tame. They're so cute. He's <laughs> ripped the bag. <laughs> so the kangaroo the has ripped the bag open. They know what they're doing. They're professionals at this. Aren't they, Mel? They are. They know what they want. <laughs> and I think these pigeons do too. Yeah. How do you do again? Three for everyone. I think the, uh, the pigeons the pigeons are enjoying it more than the kangaroos. <laughs> All right. <Ooh. laughs> it's got attacked by the birds. Here you go. Oh, I've got two of me down in my hands now. Look at that. So we've just arrived to our session to go meet the koalas. Now how far, look at, look at this koala, it's so cute. So we're about to, she's just gone in there to get it ready and set it up. And then we're gonna go in, get our photo. Now, like I was saying before, this is an added extra if you wanna do this, and you can do this with many of the animals in the park. So anyway, let's head on in and go get our photo with the koala. So you can see there's a baby koala on the back. Look, how cute. What's the baby's name? Uh, no name yet. No name yet? Oh, so we'll have to find out. I think King Deno's Adventures right there. <laughs> so adorable. So that was one very special experience. I tell you, I definitely do recommend you come and see the koalas. Mal, what did you think? I loved it. It was gorgeous. The koalas were so much softer than I thought they were going to be. Too, I thought they were going to be bristly, but they were so beautiful and soft. And we got to see a baby koala. Yeah, and I, that was like an added bonus. Was we didn't know that they had um, one of them had a baby. Yeah. So we got to see the baby. We got photos. 
and we got to pat um, one of the koalas. So that was a, just an all round good experience. It was fantastic. I'm so glad we did that. And we, we've only it's been so here like for like an hour, <laughs> not know, even. That's right. So now we're going to go explore the rest of the park. There is so much to see. That's it. Missing Twyla right now? Not quite like Twyla. No. <laughs> <laughs> they whine like her though. Yeah, they do. Like. There's a couple of them been yeah, crying. Been whiny, some of them. And then he's got his friend up on the uh, rocks up there having a bit of a sunbathe. And this is what they are the dingo. What are you looking at, Adam? Poison dart frogs. Poison dart? Oh, look, is that is yellow? Yellow. Oh, it's oh, it's tiny. Tiny. Oh, it's in the camera right. right in there. Yeah. And interestingly, the female will leave their eggs on a leaf, and then the male will come over the leaf and then fertilize the eggs. Oh, wow. There's one in the pond. So there's quite a few crocodiles in here, but the biggest one of all, he is, how, how big was he, Adam? Uh, five meters. Five meters long, and he weighed 500 kilos. He's huge. You can only see the top of his head, and then you can look down into the water and see the bottom of his tail. Now, if you want to see Crunch get fed, um, they do that normally on a Sunday. So sometimes they do it on a Saturday, but if you ring ahead, I'm sure you can find out, um, and you can watch them actually get fed here. In this room, you've got all these bits where you can sit down while you watch them feed the big croc. So these guys behind me are doing the same kind of experience that we had with the koalas, but they're doing it with the meerkats. So you can get your photo with the meerkats. So how cool is this? And they're like standing up on the shoulders and everything. As the year goes by, but we just have to monitor them quite closely. And I'll introduce you to this girl. She loves to come and steal filters of other penguins. Uh, she loves to pitch them out of my hand and run off and eat them. A large birds of prey that might be a bit of a threat to these guys. So, um, you know what? 
So at different times of the day, they have these shows where they feed the animals and they talk and tell you a bit about them. So definitely worth making sure you keep an eye out for the times these shows are on because they are full of information and you get to see the animals a bit more interactive. But anyway, let's go back to the show. But um, it doesn't stop him from being the boss of our colony. He's been around the block a few times, this guy. And uh, if there's any sort of squabbles amongst our colony, there's a couple of penguins fighting. Yeah. Louis won't hesitate to come out and sort that out quite quickly. So I now feel like I'm on the set of Jurassic Park. We're walking through a few different gates. We're going to see the tigers. Hudson's been really looking forward to this. I think so he's- like the, like, like the last of the cage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't even say that name. But anyway, so you walk through these few doors and check this out. I swear to God, it looks like Jurassic Park. Look at this. Anyway, let's head on in and check out the tigers. Now, as you're walking through the park, if you do get a little bit hungry, don't worry, they've got you covered. They've got a cafe here that does burgers, milkshakes, drinks, whatever you like. They've got indoor seating, outdoor seating. Get, a snake, a door stopper snake. A door snake, woo! Alrighty, anyone would think they don't get fed every single day, but they do. <laughs> it's Julia, I'm one of the carnivore keepers, so I look after the animals that eat meat, obviously. Dingoes are one of them. Uh, they're very excited for their lunch. In this enclosure, we have three boys, um, Snowy, Cozzy and Banjo. And they are brothers. So dingoes are actually a lot more flexible than the dogs that we have at home, like our pets. They can only move their joints in one direction, whereas dingoes have that full rotation of their joints. So excellent for hunting um, out in the wild. They can pick rabbits out of holes. Um... <laughs> Once again, it's thing that dingoes eat are rabbits as I mentioned and they're well Adam it's as big as you <laughs> I think if I laid down next to it foot to tail yeah foot to tail <laughs> head to tail it'll be the same same length as me yeah that's incredible the size of it wow so they also have an American alligator these guys are so stocky hey Adam they're pretty full on, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You wouldn't want to be in there with it? No, definitely not. Well guys, that was so exciting. I tell you, I'll be recommending this place to anyone I know that is coming to Ballarat. It was awesome. Well, that's it for another midweek episode. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you tune in every Sunday at 5 p.m. We have our weekly episode. We're always off somewhere very exciting, checking out something new. So make sure you come on the adventure. And to do that, definitely like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about us. And we will see you next Sunday at 5 p.m. 
and sometimes Wednesdays. See you later, guys.